My name is Grant Fritchie. I'm the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software. Today I want to talk to you about testing. Testing T-SQL. You say that, people start thinking QA. Or, for developers, they start thinking TDD. Now, we've got a new tool. It's called SQL Test. It is written for TDD, Test Driven Development. However, I'm not going to talk to you about TDD today. However fun and easy TDD is, now that you've got SQL Test, what I want to talk to you about today is something cool you can do with it, something different. Everybody can do TDD. Well, okay, everybody can't do it because it's hard, but you can now. What if you could test other things? What if you could test, for example, your best practices? Let's say you've got a best practice like I have, and you want every table to have a clustered index, preferably. Yeah, there are exceptions. Exceptions should be exceptional. By and large, every table should have a clustered index. What if you could test it? What if you could validate your databases, see what they are, see which ones have it, which ones don't, and do that on the fly, easily and automatically? Right, let's go check it out. So here you see SQL Test is already installed, it's set up, it's ready to go. All I have to do is add a database to it and start plugging tests in. But before that, I want to explain to you the test I'm going to run. Up above here in the T-SQL area, you can see I've got a query that joins between sys-tables and sys-indexes. It looks for table types of U, meaning user, and it looks for index types of 1, meaning clustered index. And because it uses a left join and then looks for where those values for the index type are null, um, what I'm going to get is a listing of tables that have no clustered index. And this is the best practice that I want to test. It's not a unit test, but it's still a test, and SQL test can help me out with it. So there you see the query I want to run. Let's switch back over here to SQL test. I'm going to add a database. We're going to add, um, I don't know, let's add, let's try adding AdventureWorks Lite. I've never added this one before. I don't know what's going to happen. Immediately, we'll install the T-SQL framework, which is great, meaning it's setting up. It's going to be ready to run T-SQL tests for me, so it's okay. And now you see I've got a database there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on New Test, and it's going to come up with a test name. The test name I'm going to give it is, um, we'll call it um, Check for Clustered Index. Never type during demos. And the database we're interested in is AdventureWorks 2008 R2, and the test case, we're going to call it Best, uh, sorry, Test Class. We're going to call it Best Practice. Practice. There we go. And now I'm going to create my test. Now the test it created is all this T-SQL here. And it's got comments in here. You can use them. It's got assembly areas, act areas, assert areas, all this cool stuff that's going within T-SQL test. But what I want to do is go back over here. And I'm going to just pull out this that I've prepped ahead of time. Copy. And paste. And so what I've got here is I'm declaring a table count integer. I'm selecting into my table count to count star from the query I described earlier. Then I'm going to use my T-SQL T, my SQL test assert statement. I'm going to do an assert equals. My expected value is zero. I want all tables to have a clustered index. I'm going to compare it to my actual value, which I'm getting from table count. And then I've got a message that says there are tables without a clustered index. So if I now execute this, I have a finished test. And now here's my test back over here in the um, SQL test. I can now run the tests for this database. And it failed. And it came up with a value. There are tables without a clustered index. Expected zero, but was three. So I have three tables that do not have a clustered index that I need to go in there and figure out what's going on in my system and try to repair them. The key point I want you to take away here is, is that yes, this is set up for unit testing. Yes, that is one of its primary functions, but it doesn't have to be its only function. It can be used for other types of testing, such as best practice tests, as I just ran. Right, thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software, and I am the Scary DBA.